how far in advance should you plan before putting your house on the market? One month, two months, three months, not sure. Well, in this video, we break down the seller process timeline. And so you know what to do when before putting your house on the market. you're new, my name is Jade Lee Duffy, your favorite San Diego realtor. I talk about all things related to real estate and what it's like to live in San Diego. If you find any value in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so you are notified the next time a new video comes out. All right, let's get back to the seller process timeline and what to do when. So you've decided to put your house on the market. Now what? Not sure when to start? Well, Selling your house is definitely something that you don't want to do on the fly. You want to plan and prepare and make sure that your house is market ready. So I'll break down five milestone dates before you put your house on the market. And, but before you do anything, you need to pick a date first. So when do you put your house on the market? Well, according to a Zillow study, the survey said that the best time to put your house on the market is between March and April. These are the fastest selling times and the houses during this period get the most above asking price. So if you're outside of these times, still any time into the summer is good up until July. And then in August, it starts to slow down a little bit. And if you can, putting your house on the market before September is going to get you on average the best result. And if you can't put your house on the market within this time frame, don't worry, houses sell every single day throughout the year. There are always buyers looking for houses, houses close every day throughout the year. So once you've got a date, work two months back from that date. So that's the first milestone. At this time, two months before, start researching other houses on the market seeing how many houses there are, what price they sell for. And also you can go to open houses and actually check what people are doing, what that price point means for buyers. And also if sellers are staging their house and how they're making it market ready. And this way you'll have a good ballpark of what your house is going to sell for. Obviously, as you get closer to the date, you'll want to double check again what your competition is on the market, but two months out, it will give you a good ballpark. Also at this time, two months in advance, it's time to collect important documents such as property tax documents, home insurance policies, and mortgage statements. Also the, during this time to keep note two months before is that you may be able to claim a tax deduction for closing costs and any upgrades that you make to the house. Obviously I'm not a tax expert, so don't just rely on my tax advice. Talk to your tax expert and see if you can claim a tax deduction for things like legal fees, commission, closing costs, and any money that you spent on upgrades. So one little caveat, it should be 90 days before closing. Also at this time, look at your finances and look at how much equity you have in the house. And one more thing, two months before, one thing that you can consider is getting a pre-listing home inspection. So this is kind of just a, like a little report card on your house and how it's doing with respect to the condition of the house. Obviously, if you don't get this done, definitely a buyer that comes in is gonna get a home inspection. So you don't want any hidden surprises, any leaks that you might not see behind the walls or under the slab. So it's really good at this point to get a pre-listing home inspection. Next on the seller timeline is six weeks before listing. Here you can start considering hiring an agent, interview a few agents just to see what each one has to offer and see which one that seems like the best fit for you. Ask around, ask your friends and family. Also, you can look on YouTube and find agents that really know their stuff. A good agent will help you price your home correctly, market it, and also help with negotiating with potential buyers. And then at this point, you can work out a marketing plan and discuss any additional fixes or light remodeling jobs around the house that will help increase the price of your house. 
and six weeks out, it's time to also spruce up the house, look at curb appeal. What is the first impression that you have of your house? Trim the lawn, brush off cobwebs, indoor frames, put out some fresh potted plants. Also light repairs inside the house, such as painting, fixing any broken appliances, or possibly changing out outdated sink taps and faucets. Next on the timeline, one month before, at this stage, it's time to start moving out, really. Start packing up your stuff and putting them in boxes, possibly in your garage, but even better would be to pack up some stuff that you're not gonna use in the next couple months, pack it up and move it offsite. So move it into a storage facility or a pod, make sure the home is decluttered, remove personal items. So buyers that come in don't wanna see your travel photos or your wedding photos. So it's best for them to walk into the house and picture what it's like for them to live there and not peeping into your past, your past vacation. Also at this stage, one month before, you can start spreading the word with your neighbors, just giving them a heads up that you will be leaving. And maybe they've got friends or family that want to move into the neighborhood as well. Now, two to three weeks before listing, it's time to get a better, clearer financial picture of your situation, get the mortgage payoff statement so you can figure out the proceeds that you will get from the sale of your house. Also clear up any liens you have on the property and keep cleaning and decluttering. Make sure that your house is in tip top shape for buyers. Remove any personal items, take out furniture if it's decluttering the space. Make sure that the furniture in the room makes sense. You don't want buyers coming in and trying to figure out what the function of a certain room is. Now onto the final stretch, one week before listing your property on the market. It's time for lights, camera, and marketing. Once you've got your house looking its best, it's time for photos. Getting a professional photo can increase the value of your home significantly. Make sure there's as much natural light that comes into the home as possible and you want to just show your home in its best possible light so when buyers come in they'll just fall in love at this point your agent should be writing out a property description so work out what are the best features of your house and also a for sale sign should be scheduled so it's ready to go as soon as your house hits the market and now the big day has come where your house goes live unfortunately it is a lot of work but always make sure that your house is neat and tidy for any potential buyers to stop by. You will have to live in a perpetual state of clean, make sure that everything is put away, it's neat and tidy, and now you're ready for buyers to come in and just wait for the offers to start rolling in. Good luck. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you need any help, with buying or selling real estate in San Diego, please don't hesitate to reach out. My number is at the top of the screen and remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell. Thank you for watching.